the Abba Dome and Abba Voyage is over there, right next to Pudding Mill Lane DLR station. And the Abba Museum is over there behind the Tivoli Funfair. We saw Abba Voyage in 2023, which is 51 years after the band formed in Stockholm in 1972, and even longer since the key union of Bourne and Benny in 1966. How do we know that? Well, we've also been to the museum in Sweden. We'll show you both venues and throw in some tips. Because at the Abba Dome, Abba are alive again as avatars. Digital holograms, which is scotch mist created by artificial intelligence. Abba Voyage sounds like a cruise ship, so we had to go to Pudding Mill Lane and investigate how George Lucas's industrial light and magic made major movies wait while 160 cameras were used to motion capture the real stars as they copied their moves from films of them back in 1979. Then over 1,000 artists made them look young again in 3D for Abba Voyage. Inside the dome, there's a wonderful atmosphere and ample bars with food at pub prices. Rather like a modern stadium, the bars stay open throughout the performance, so with your wristband on, you can go in and out. Our first tip, we found the food and selection of drinks better in the stadium than next door, which is not part of the ABBA experience. Doors open time is for the venue, the stadium opens earlier. If the dome is open, head inside and start to get excited because you will want to head inside when you hear this. The Abba Arena. Can you please make your way into the auditorium? The concert will start in 15 minutes. Thank you. The Abba Dome venue is clean and there are many toilets, so the queues seem to go very quickly. And the design from the Swedish wooden beam look to the lighting is amazing. The sound quality is better than I've heard for years. Note, it is loud. We can't show you the show. The stills are from the officially released trailer, which we have links for you to go to to see what they wish to share. It is better than you can imagine. And people go back time after time. We can show you the museum as we share more facts about the show Abba Voyage. Jean? When you get off the shuttle behind me over the other side of the bridge, you walk across the bridge, past the palace, and 200 metres past the hop-on, hop-off bus ticket place, you'll find the ferry that will take us to the island. This is the ferry to Jewel Gordon. It's one stop on the way, but two stops on the way back because it stops off at a little island, so don't jump off there. Once you've seen Abba Voyage, you need to visit the museum. And the best way is on a Baltic cruise. Just walked up from the ferry. The Tivoli amusements are on my right and Abba Museum is on my left. Whilst Abba Voyage concentrates on the 1979 look, the museum takes you from each of their childhoods with pictures and artifacts. There are photos of all the members of ABBA from childhood growing up and you can listen to their personal stories if you purchase a handset and just touch it on the stars that are next to the various exhibits. They speak of very personal memories. It's obvious that from a young age they were all interested in music. There are photos of them as children and also some of their parents. It's just like looking at someone's personal family photo albums. Eurovision is a big thing, and as well as their costumes, there are many others to remember the time when Britain gave ABBA nil point. We have already booked to see ABBA Voyage again, and will return to the museum when back in the Baltic. ABBA the Museum is an interactive exhibition about the pop group ABBA that opened in Stockholm in May 2013. It was inspired by the Beatles Museum in Liverpool. I was really keen to see it. I love ABBA. These are the costumes that various artists wore in Eurovision Song Contests, not just ABBA but many successful contestants. If you are wondering what motion capture is, mocap, it's the capture of motion done for video games and so much more. Actors spend their days in studios acting out movements with suits that have tracking dots all over them. And then artists, digital artists, paint the avatar on the moving dots that have been tracked. 
other actors, voice actors, then shout grenade as the avatar dives. Or in this case, for a whole month, the real ABBA, nearer 70 than 17, copied their own iconic performances to make the dots super real. They made their own avatars. Their performance plays alongside the film in an amazing show. There was a firm friendship between Benny and Bjorg, and they describe how they met and fell in love with their other halves. The museum is a very nostalgic trip down memory lane. So Frida is talking to me at the moment. Bjorn began his musical career at 18 when he fronted the Hootenanny Singers, a popular Swedish folk skiffle group. Benny was a member of the Hepstars, also known as the Swedish Beatles. The Hootenanny Singers and the Hepstars sometimes crossed paths and Bjorn and Benny decided to write together. Agnetha sang with a local dance band. She came to Stockholm to record two of her own songs. This led to her having a number one in Sweden. During filming of a Swedish TV special in 1969, she met and fell in love with Bjorn and they married in July 1971. Frida was born in Norway and sang from the age of 13 with various dance bands. In 1967, she won a national talent competition. She met Benny while performing at the Melody Festival and again a few weeks later on tour they became a couple. If this phone rings, it's Abba calling. Although we live in London suburbs, it took us two hours to get there and the same to get back. Our standing on the dance floor tickets was £77 each. It was quicker to get to the museum by ferry from the cruise ship. Abba's manager, Sticken Anderson, had a major effect on their career. Sticken Anderson's office. He was a great mentor to the band. This is the sound recording desk and the instruments on which so many ABBA hits were written and recorded. It's amazing to think that hits like Fernando and Dancing Queen, my personal favourite, all began here. There are guitars, pianos, drums, percussion, which when mixed with their fantastic voices became a recipe for major success. They were everywhere. There is so much memorabilia, costumes in the making, shelves of material, and the sewing machines which were used to make their iconic outfits. There is even a mock-up of Agnetha and Frida's dressing room. There's a stage here and you can pretend to be the band. You can stand on stage and record. There are recording booths where you can go in and sing. At each point, there's a description of how they felt and what it was like to be there at that time. There's a mock-up of their kitchens, very tidy. Puppets grinning inanely, a bit scary. Fifth member. This museum is such fun. It really does take you back in time. The costumes were completely outrageous. The platform boots, the glitter, the headbands, the mini skirts, the feathers, the trouser suits. Wow, amazing, look at all these gold discs. There are so many awards. It's so sad that their marriages both broke up and they even speak about how that happened in surprisingly frank and personal revelations. ABBA has never officially announced the end of the group but it has long been considered dissolved. Their final public appearance together was on the Late Late Breakfast Show, live from Stockholm, on the 11th of December in 1982. Bjorn and Benny went on to write the musical Chess and still collaborate and are firm friends. Agnetha and Frida both pursued solo careers. Agnetha became something of a recluse for a while, but she released a solo album in May 2013. She said she took singing lessons prior to the recording because she felt that her voice was a bit rusty. 
I would really recommend a trip here. There's also an area which is a music hall of fame. It's a really interesting museum. I always wanted to be Agnetha. In my dreams. So is anyone in ABBA Voyage live? Yes, there is a 10-piece band playing along to a banging click track. Playing to a click track happens on every cruise ship, from tribute acts to the 17-piece onboard orchestra we saw on the Queen Mary 2, playing along to a filmed Cunard orchestra of 66 people recorded at Abbey Road. Cruise ships already have the best theatres and more at sea than the West End and Broadway combined. And they use modern forms of entertainment. So this ABBA voyage is a journey into what we will be seeing at sea in the future.